eight days left. You minus one of them, you have one week. I can't, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have more Monsters and Mortals related content, some fan made content. So, you know what, without wasting any more time, let us begin. So, we're gonna start off with Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. As we know, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach with Vanny as main antagonist got revealed for PlayStation 5. It's gonna be exclusive for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC for three months, and then it'll come out on Xbox and Switch. However, Team Master, one of our oldest members of this community, posted a really fascinating video on their Twitter showing how a Vanny could work in an environment that has soul shards and door deception related gameplay and Five Nights at Freddy's atmosphere. Check it out. I am telling you, this guy right here, Team Master, he's making your dreams of playing Dark Deception and Five Nights at Freddy's Baldi's Basics on consoles true. How many shorts he made in Dreams that you can play right now on your PlayStation 4? If you have PlayStation 4, get Dreams. You can play so many good stuff made by Team Master. He is out here, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I gave him a shout out. But we're gonna move on to next stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, so break. As you all know, that Momo Deception is my real deal. Momo Deception is the way where it's at Momo Deception is where the Dark Deception fan game comes into play. Subreg posted a gameplay a long time ago. However, today they posted an old Momo Deception presentation. It's changed a lot since then, but still it looks clean as a whistle. Yeah, get out. I think Momo Deception will be the best Dark Deception fan game because of the AI that Subreich is making. I loved the previous gameplay and I loved this presentation as well. Even though it was old, I can't wait for Momo Deception, the most anticipated Dark Deception fan game of all time for me at the very least. But we're gonna move on to some official Dark Deception content. Winston Livings, the man behind Dark Deception, posted this on his Twitter. As we remember Monsters Immortals, few days left for the beta, we know that Closestick Entertainment's own Team Nixon, who instead loving's pen will be added as mortals for the multiplayer. We saw their faces, the reveal, the concept art, but today, ladies and gentlemen, we see some of that good stuff even more. As you can see on your left side, we have Nixon with a bat, <laughs> and he's standing in this awesome suit. Man, he is our uh, Nixon is my pick for the moral side. He's my pick. I told y'all I'm gonna play as him first, and then Winston Livings, then Dugauzu, then Beers, and Nixon. You're looking clean, my boy. Then you get Vincent Livings himself with the old C-shirt. You can see the hairy arms. <laughs> and he's looking clean as well. He's looking buff. Not gonna lie to you. And then Pen Pen, as we know. Pen Pen is the name for Pen in Monsters and Mortals. You can see the show. But I have some insights for you. On your screen right now is the 3D model that Pen herself posted a long time ago as one of her works that she does in the gaming industry. We didn't know what this model and where this model will be used. Now we know that it is related to Monsters and Mortals, hopefully, because it is pretty close. Not gonna lie to you, it is pretty close to the concept art that they show. Like, if I put side by side, listen, man, I'm just saying, look at the quality of that 3D character. Imagine these good graphics and the good characters looking gameplay. In multiplayer, my life will be complete. I just need a good graphics multiplayer, ladies and gentlemen. Cannot wait to get my hands on that Monsters and Mortals. Before we get to chapter 4, or I want to address Bendy. As well as you all know, we have no Bendy related content and I should have made a separate video on that and I will in the future. However, I just want to address two things. Number one, again from Subreich. I didn't realize at first, but they're making two projects right now as we speak. The first one is of course Momo Deception and the second one that they're working slowly and they shared a gameplay of it as well is Bendy fan game, most specifically Bendy in The Power of Smiling Darling. Check out the gameplay. Thank you. 
it is super clean, but I'm not sure if Midley and Joey Do Studios will let this game on Game Jolt. One thing I will say though, if the game comes out, I will download it, put it on another link, and make sure every single one of y'all get the game as soon as it drops. So Sabrai, keep doing what you're doing, unless of course they are violating the terms and policies, and then I'm not gonna support them, but if they're not, and staying within the limits, then I'll help them as well. And finally, the last fan game that we need to talk about is Demon's Deception. As you all know, the reveal trailer and the gameplay trailer got revealed a little while ago. We know in three days, Demon's Deception will drop. Demon's Deception was one of the very first Bendy fan games that I really got into, but now it is actually claimed that it's coming out within a few days. You was gonna be out here playing because I played the demo a very long time ago, I believe. This is made up from the ground. Everything new, assets are new. It's gonna be so much fun. Hopefully, finally, a Bendy fan game. Finally, a Dark Deception fan game because it's a Bendy X Dark Deception fan game. Anyways, keep an eye out on that. And finally, for Chapter 4, I just want to say one thing. It's a small update, ladies and gentlemen, but do not expect Chapter 4 details or any updates for a while. At least until after the beta, or at least in the mid beta. The thing is, Monsters Immortals Closed Entertainment focusing super hard on this multiplayer as you're slowly working on Chapter 4 as well. I explained why Monsters Immortals is coming out before Chapter 4. If you don't know, I'm gonna repeat that again. Chapter 4, the way they work is that they have contracts, they have people who work on specific stuff for Chapter 4, like assets, textures, materials, and whatnot. And whilst they're waiting on those assets to be completed by the contractors that they hired for those specific assets, they have time free. Like, Nixon is free because he's waiting on all those other contractors to finish their job and send over the assets. So they're free. So instead of just sitting on their butts, they're like, okay, let's do something fun. They have all this old Dark Deception content and assets from chapters 1 to 3, and they were like, let's do some creativity, and they made it into Monsters Immortals multiplayer. All the content from chapters 1 to 3 will be in the Monsters Immortals, and all chapter 4 and chapter 5 in the future. Dark Deception other content will be added for free. I'm gonna have to say it again because Galoja Kenema posted a comment on my yesterday's video saying it's gonna be for free all the dark deception future updates will be for free but only for future dark deception content not the other games kind of like not the monstrum dlc ayana loves labyrinth dlc and evil nun dlc those will cost but chapter 4 chapter 5 stuff will not cost for monsters immortals get ready boys because i am out here let's put our focus on the multiplayer let's enjoy this i talked to dk we're gonna do a collab very soon when the full game is out it's gonna be so fun we have tournaments for Monsters Immortals. We have challenges, gifts, rewards. It's gonna be so much fun, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe right now. Help me get a 50k. I'll see you boys on the flip side. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Insta at the rate smacking pie.